Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. In this video, we're going to talk about early shallow versus late shallow in the downswing and why I prefer to see players early shallow for the most part. Um, it's important to note that I don't advocate this for every single one of my clients. I'm not saying it's the only way to do it. Uh, all I'm saying is why I prefer early shallow, but it is important to note that I have clients who play, at, uh, who play good golf shallowing early and shallowing late. But for the most part, I think more people would benefit from shallowing early based on what most amateurs tend to struggle with, which is being hands first, they pull the handles down, club gets very steep in the downswing, tend to be very chaotic down at the ball. You don't deliver the club into the ball with any sort of predictability. So that's why I prefer early shallow. And the reason for that is, assuming you have a decent enough backswing, at the top, if I early shallow, you see that the club stays more behind me, it stays way behind, way behind, way behind, way behind, way behind. The only way for me to get this club back to the ball is if I rotate. Well, I shouldn't say it the only way. It would be more beneficial for us to rotate and it encourages us to rotate because if the things are more slung back as if I was throwing a medicine ball, it promotes us to rotate to sling that medicine ball off our arms, uh, sling the arms off the chest. Same thing here. If I shallow this club early, you can see things are pinned against my chest. It promotes me and encourages me to rotate, 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 and then eventually things get slung through. If I am late in the shallow, which is what most people do as a save, if people pull their handles down and out, arm disconnects from the chest, club is so shallow, if I rotate from here, I'm gonna be way outside in, I'm gonna hit a very dead ball, non-functional, which is why most players who struggle with rotation is because they're already in a bad spot in the downswing, they cannot rotate from here, therefore, they have to then slide or tilt back, and you can see that shallows the club late for most players. But in most cases, when that happens, it becomes a very flippy release, which we don't want because the, the more we tilt back, the less we rotate. The less we rotate the body, the more we have to rotate the face through with the hands and the forearms, which is a very chaotic movement and such a fast paced movement, which is the golf swing. So if I, from the top again, nice back swing, if I late shallow by pulling, pulling, pull, 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 and then I do this to late shallow, very hard to predict where the ball is going to go. So that's why I prefer early shallow where if I make my back swing and then a shallow early, it promotes more rotation, club gets trailing back, 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 and then it slings into the ball. It gives me a lot more time to push and rotate to sling the arm and the club into the ball, so hopefully it gives me more speed as well. And in, and in most scenarios, I have found early shallow to give my clients more speed, more predictability um, in face control and delivering the club back into the ball. So that's why I prefer early shallow. So as an exaggeration, if you have a good backswing, you can shallow early, it should look something like this, where good backswing, and then shallow early, you can see it pushes out right and comes back left quite gently, okay? And if you don't shallow early, if you're one of those guys who struggle with pulling the hands down, steep shot, and then trying to save it by tilting back, you can see bad things happen. And again, I know I'm exaggerating quite a bit here, but all I'm saying is um, for most amateur players who struggle with being steep, who don't rotate, uh, early shallow would then tend to encourage you to do more good things in the golf swing. So hope that makes sense. Any questions, just leave in the comments below and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks guys.